ended up spending 16 and a half years in prison. So I got out, I got released right on the next block. <laughs> And I had $50 in my pocket. I was homeless, I was unemployed, but I had my master plan. And I remember getting into the University of Baltimore and talking to the school, and it was like, just give me a chance to demonstrate myself as a student, right? Because it was tough to get in because I had this criminal background. So they gave me an opportunity. And so my mom found out I'm home, and my mom called me, right? And she was like, oh my God, I can't believe you home. Like, like you know, my family had cut me off when I went to prison. She was like, did you break out? I don't understand. Like, I thought you had life. Like, what's the deal? And I was like, Mom, I got this plan. Um, I'm focused. I'm in school. I'm going to find a job. And she was like, you sound different. And I was like, I'm grown. Mom, I was in my 30s at this point. Then my mom started acting weird. And she was like, you know, it's just some things that I want you to remember. I want you to remember, like, that I love you. I want you to remember, like, to finish your plan. And I was like, all right. She was like, Chris, just remember that I love you. And I was like, all right, Mom. Like, you're on speakerphone. You're embarrassing me. But when my mom hung the phone up, she wrote a letter and committed suicide. Our young men here at BCJJC were very inspired by his story, by his master plan, and I think it really resonated within their souls and motivated them to be successful on their minor journey. If my mom was here in this room, I would tell my mom, I've been free from prison for seven years. I'm the owner of several companies, multi-million dollar companies here in Baltimore that create job opportunities for people who need help the most. I would tell my mom that since being home, as of two weeks ago, I've helped 273 people in this city get jobs, and less than 10 of those was minimum wage jobs. I would tell my mom how I'm a semester away from earning my second college degree, and I've been offered a full ride at Harvard Business School. I would tell my mom how I went from feeling invisible to spending over a hundred days in solitary confinement, to coming home, to winning every award in the state of Maryland, including a presidential award from Obama. I challenge you to surround yourself with positive people. Don't give up on yourself. Do not give up on yourself. Continue to challenge yourself day in and day out. All right? Good luck to you. Thank you.